You're watching UNICEF Television. The quake and the strong aftershocks have left almost unimaginable suffering in a country that is ill continuing in the aftermath of the 7.1 magnitude earthquake that shattered Jiegu Township. In, in parts Yishikari of Osh, whole streets have been devastated in the wave of violence. In Pakistan, more than 17 million people have been affected making it one of the largest humanitarian crises. is one of the many children expected to be needing treatment for malnutrition in the After upcoming month. After an 8.8 magnitude earthquake shook central Chile for nearly three minutes, a powerful tsunami... Health workers also dispense advice on diseases, vaccinations, and... The situation is worse for preschool. The situation is worse for preschool. The government has responded well. UNICEF is supporting with water and sanitation, digging latrines, making sure that children have vitamins and medicine. The number of and scale of the emergency that we have to respond are not going down. In fact, they are increasing. Nutrition is going to be a huge issue for us in relation to emergencies. I, Anthony Lake, solemnly declare and promise to exercise in all loyalty, discretion, and passion. I believe it is precisely those most vulnerable, those hardest to reach children on whom we must focus. Climate change is uh, central to everything we do. Over 300,000 women are dying every year from complications of just giving birth. This is an avoidable travesty of justice. The sooner that we can get affected children into protected areas, the better off we will be. Humanity has achieved a moral consensus to keep the battlefields separate from the pega. We need to understand that this is not merely a statistical exercise. This is about the lives of children and mothers and girls and boys around the world. The organization is emphasizing equity, becoming more concerned than ever. We haven't played the full human rights agenda enough with the girl child. It's not a question of whether we can afford to invest in equality. The question is whether we can afford not to. We'll never break the cycle of poverty and disease without educating girls. Education doesn't just beat poverty. It beats disease. It beats inequality. And for girls, education is nothing less than a lifesaver. When you say MDGs, people look at you and they have no idea what you're talking about. All of this has to go back to where it is happening so that people can really feel this is about them, about their children. I am committed to ensuring that we continue to do everything we can to fulfill the rights of every child. 